dropped in on. A pipe! Wait, this belongs to Gramps! That means the lieutenant and Mr. Glossner came this way. Then we're on the right track. All right, let's try to catch up. It's Lieutenant Hawkeye, and Mr. Glossner's with her. Jeez, I thought we'd never catch up. You're both fine? <sighs> what a relief. I'm sorry, I wanted to wait until you two caught up with us, but Mr. Glossner was quite adamant. Alright, listen up, you geezer. You're not the center of the universe, so stop brushing us off, you hear? Ed never likes it when someone else gets to be the center of the universe. Hmm. Ahem! Don't you have something to say? Crowley's in the spire. Let's go! What? Wait! Didn't you hear what I just said? Hmm? What's up with these guys? Did the whole town get up on the wrong side of the bed? It looks like they're guarding the ruins. Keep in mind, this is an important relic to them. They might think we're grave robbers or something. <sighs> okay, listen, we're good, clean-cut boys and girls, you got it? Now, if you'll just let us through... I said, we're not here to loot your crappy old graves, all right? That didn't work. Hold on, something's not quite right here. Uh. I don't think there could be that many of them. Uh, I don't know. That moan is starting to ring a bell. Golems! Why do they have to show up wherever we go? We'd better retreat for now. <laughs> Seriously! What are a bunch of golems doing in this? You're asking the wrong guy! Hey, tell your friends, they gotta run. The streets are about to be flooded with real nasty creatures and... With beady eyes. Was Siam said always a golden town? been in ruins for centuries. I, I knew something wasn't right, but now we've got the whole thing figured out, yeah, don't we? Great. Tell us these things in advance next time, Grandpa!
prisoner. Gramps, are you all right? Damn it. I can't die here. Not yet. with you soon. Please hurry! Okay, boys. We're counting on you. Mr. Gloucester, let's go! Don't keep us waiting, kid! Alright, Al. We gotta buy as much time as we can for those two. Okay, golems, come get some! Spawning, no matter what we do. You're right. I think they've had more than enough time to escape. We should get out of here, too. Yeah.
Well, well, well. Glad to see you're both okay. <laughs> I must be getting really crusty if I need a punk like you to save my ass and worry about me. What? That's all the thanks I get for saving your miserable hide? But what is up with this town? How can every single person here be a golem? It's Crowley's handiwork for sure. He made golems using the Grand Arcanum and revived the whole city. But how? How is that possible? Well, those are the same methods the king used to create Siam's Sid in the first place. You think you're the king now, Crowley? What are you trying to do? Build a kingdom for two? Save that talk for later. We're not exactly safe out here. Let's get inside the structure. seems clear. Let's catch our breath for a moment. Mr. Glossner, what is this place? This must be the temple of the goddess of Lebus. There should be an area for prayer deeper in. A temple, huh? Not much in common with the temple in Lior. Who's this a statue of? This is the Queen of Lebus, the one the king tried so hard to revive, his one and only love. She's beautiful, isn't she? Ed, doesn't she look like the girl in white who we keep seeing? Huh? Yeah, I can see that. Wait a minute, Gramps. It sounded like you knew that lady in white. Can you tell us who she is? So, you urchins noticed the resemblance between the Queen and Elma, too. Crowley said the same thing when he found this statue for the first time. Care to elaborate? That girl in white you boys saw, that's Crowley's lover. His dead lover. What? Crowley's trying to bring his dead lover, Elma, back to life. The phone, Gramps. You're not making any sense. It's been almost 50 years. I met Crowley for the first time on my way to study the Lebus civilization. He was studying the ancient method of creating golems. We immediately hit it off and decided to travel together. One day, he just started talking. How he had lost his lover, how he failed at reviving her through alchemy. Reviving? Through alchemy? <sighs> Later, we were able to decipher the mysteries of Lebus, and Crowley succeeded in bringing back Elma. Those were good times. The three of us, me, Crowley, and Elma, got along great. But those days didn't last long. Elma's body was imperfect. In less than half a year, Elma turned back into mud, right before our very eyes. Crowley began his studies again. He immersed himself in the study of golems. He was possessed by it. So many Elmas were made, and all would fail. Then one day, Elma, half of her body a golem, turned to me with the saddest look on her face and said, Please stop. Please stop him. 
Please let me die. Please let me die. I later found out what caused the civilization of Lebes to perish. The golems going berserk! Creating golems is dangerous. I couldn't let Crowley go on practicing the Grand Arcanum. But I couldn't stop him. He was already half mad. My words weren't reaching him anymore. So I left him. I thought he would give up without my help. But it seems Crowley has been continuing his studies on golems all this time. And even now he continues to make the same mistakes over and over again. So that's why it's hard to believe. Elma isn't alive, but she has that appearance. I've got to stop Crowley. There's just no way, no way to give life to what is dead. Unless you're a god, or... There's something you should know. When we first met that girl, she handed this to me. The Ring of Lebus. I had dug it out from the ruins and gave it to Elma as a gift. It's a special ring that has been passed down through royalty. So, Elma must have meant for you to come here. monstrosities like this. We can't fight and babysit Gramps at the same time. Lieutenant, you protect the old guy. What? Edward, wait! You guys go hide somewhere! Come on, Al. Let's kick its ass! If it has one, anyway.
He's down for the count, Ed! If that thing turns out to have a twin brother, I'm gonna be pissed! Lieutenant, Mr. Glossner, you can come out now! Are you boys okay? I'm sorry I couldn't assist you. I'm the one who should be sorry. You boys are risking your lives, and it's all because of me. Ah, oh, jeez. Don't get all sappy on me now, Gramps. None of this is your fault. It's all Crowley's game. No, kid. It is my fault. It's my fault that Crowley became the way he is. 
I couldn't stop my friend. I ran away instead. I bear full responsibility. Mr. Glossner, I don't think... Elma! It's not your fault, Arlen. It's mine. He does what he does because of me. Elma, what are you saying? You're not. Please, we're running out of time. Listen to my last wish. Huh? Wait, what? Are you talking to me? Please, let me die. Please, kill me. What? Alma, what should I... Don't let your guard down. No, Elma! You have to run and... What? No! Elma, please! Where are you, Elma? What now? I'm not sure. Damn, there's just too many of these things. <laughs> Difficulties, Edward Elric. How can one struggle against a lumbering enemy whose only strength is in its number? Behold, hideous deformations. Sample the marriage of alchemy and physical strength passed down the Armstrong line for generations. Heart might, heart erudite! That wasn't too much, was it? It's so hard holding yourself back in battle when you're fighting brainless drudge. Colonel. My sincerest apologies, Lieutenant. We did mean to arrive a little earlier. Jeez, don't you guys know how to come onto a scene? Without making a scene, you're so attention starved. Right. You knew I'd have to show my face sometime. So how have things been going, Full Metal? Looks like this was a close call. Guess that means you owe me one. I don't owe you anything. These golems couldn't get an inch on... And now, you owe me two. If you're my backup, then back me up! <laughs> That's funny. But I'm not here for backup, Full Metal. You fought bravely enough. Now you can leave it in the hands of the state.
Well now, so you've been playing in here. I was wondering where you'd scampered off to. No, I'm not upset with you. But we're certainly fond of this room, aren't we? No, no, it's the stone that you love. Yes, and I love this stone as well. Just look, the crimson elixir is shining even more beautifully today. And with more human blood, it reaches an even deeper crimson. The color of life, flaring up. Soon, my dear. You, I, and even this elixir, we are all incomplete at the moment. But the nightmare is about to end. So many have come to graciously offer their lives, all for the completion of the elixir. And I would do anything for you, my love. Even if this land were to crumble, even if my body were to perish. I am going through with this, Arlen, in the name of the King of Lebus. So this is the Spire of Lebus. And Crowley is waiting inside. Oh. My men are dealing with the golems in town. Let's head inside and defeat Crowley while we still can. But Colonel, how exactly do we enter the tower? Hmm, a paradox indeed. There is no bridge that would let us reach it from here. It's not just the lack of a bridge. I don't see any entrances, period. Come on, there's bound to be a way in. How else could the King of Lebus get inside? Hey, kid, take out the Ring of Lebus Elma handed you. Huh? You mean this? Only royalty could wear the Ring of Lebus. Without it, they could not enter royal dwellings. So this ring is like a key to enter the spire. You don't say. See that transmutation circle there? Put on the ring and try using alchemy inside of the circle. Um, like this? Good show, sport. All right, let's hustle. I'll guide you once we're inside. What? No, this is forbidden. We know not of the dangers that lurk within. The elderly must stay behind. What? Hogwash. Those dangers are exactly why you need me. How do you plan on getting around without an expert? We appreciate your cooperation, but I cannot guarantee your safety beyond this point. Leave the rest to the military. Screw the military, and I don't need no guarantee for my safety. You don't know these ruins. You don't know Crowley. Colonel. We 
can't take a civilian along with us. Unnecessary casualties must be avoided. Understand? Now let's go. Hey, wait! Damn it, you twerps! You can't leave me here! You, escort this gentleman to a safe place. On the double! Yes, sir! Wh who the hell are you guys? Out of my way! I'm going in too! Gramps, I'll stop him, I promise. Leave the dirty work to us. Al, let's go! You... Are you out of your minds? It's my job to stop Crowley! My job! I will not leave it to you, you punk! Damn it! Come back! I'm telling you! There's no guarantee for your friggin' safety in there! Do you hear me? Please, sir. It's dangerous here. We have to move to a safer area. Get off me! Don't touch me! Let go of me! Damn it! I've come too far! I'm too close! I can't be the only one to run away from this again! Fascinating. Is this a transmutation circle? Wait, this transmutation circle looks like... Yeah, it's the same as the one at the city entrance. We must be looking at another transportation device. Something a matter? Nothing's happening. Ed, what do you suppose? Do you know something about these transmutation circles? Well, if these were the same as the ones in town, you would have been instantly transported somewhere else, but... This one doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm, I don't get it. Hey, Ed, is your ring, um, shining? What's this? to normal. So the ring must have acted like a key again. Ed, what do we do? We're moving ahead, of course. The question is, which of the three transmutation circles do we choose? <laughs> 